Hello, chicken friends. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry about before. I'm a crazy, I'm crazy. Y'all know I'm crazy, right? <laughs> if you're new, you don't know I'm crazy, but you're about to know exactly how insanely crazy I am. I own it, right? I, I, I'm, not a, I'm not ashamed of my crazy. I like to hang it out for all of you to see it live. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome. I'm making Maria, new Chuck Couture independent designer. We are gonna have some serious fun tonight. Because we, oh, oh gosh, and then you get me in like double stereo and everything is beeping now. Oh, see, I told you, I'm crazy. So welcome, everybody. We need to figure out how to get our comments back. There we go. Okay, so welcome, welcome. Um, we are going to have so much fun tonight because I'm going to teach you how to watercolor with the uh, boho flower transfer. We've talked about, I teased you all week, right? I kept saying, oh, we're gonna watercolor, we're gonna watercolor, and then I kept saying, oh, it looks nice the way it is. We're not gonna watercolor, or, or I'm too tired, we're not gonna watercolor, right? So tonight, I promise, we are watercoloring tonight. Oops, I'm hitting wrong buttons again. Jeez Louise, I'm sorry. <sighs> slow down, Maria, right? Say, just say, slow down, Maria. There we go. All right, we are good to go now. Hello, Miss Cheryl. So, we are going to use an amazing product called Chalk Couture tonight. It is an adhesive silk screen transfer that is reusable. Like, how much better does it get than that? If you are new to our chalking party, say hi. We are a very friendly, a very chit-chatty chalking group. So, you want to say hi, tell us where you're from, what part of the country. Um, we have people all over that watch pretty regularly. And I'm here every night at 9 o'clock normally. 9 o'clock Central Standard Time. And I show you how to use this amazing product because I found it, absolutely positively love it, and the whole crafting world needs to do this, is my personal opinion, because it's easy, it's stress-free, and it is fun. So, um, I'm in love with it. So, why not share it with you and go live every night and show it to you? No, normally I go live at 9 o'clock Central Standard Time because I'm in Wisconsin. Green Bay Packers, go pack. Um... And it's cold in Wisconsin today, so I, you know, I'm still dressed for winter. Where some of you live in beautiful, warm places and you like to tease me with how beautiful and warm it is where you are. And I can tell you that it's cold, rainy, and in the 30s here in Wisconsin. Still, I'm ready for spring. But anyway, again, I'm digressing. Um, ooh, Linda is in, oh, Linda, I'm mailing, I'm mailing you a try me packet. You are in Indiana. Well, welcome to our little chalking party. Hello, Miss Nikki. Welcome, welcome. Okay, so Linda, uh, welcome. We're just chit chat right along with us, Linda. We're here every night. Everybody comes usually. Apparently, people like how crazy I am and they come back. Um, so, hello, Miss Cheryl. Hello, Christine. Lisa is here. Lisa, we need to come up with a nickname for you, Lisa. Linda Squared is here. Oh, and this now, Linda McCormick, you're another Linda. Ooh. Poor Linda Squared and Linda Linda. Hmm. We gotta come up. Linda, you get a nickname when you join us because that's how I keep track of who you all are. Um, and I'm a little I'm a little over the top right now because we have like six Lisas and I haven't come up with nicknames yet for Lisa. So don't worry, Linda, you'll get a nickname. And I have to tell you, every time I see your last name, that's what triggers for me who you are. You I have family. Oh well, they're not really family, but I consider them family. Their last name is McCormick. So every time I see McCormick, I'm always like, ah! Oh, so you might just have to be family, Linda. <laughs> I don't know. Something will stick. Hello, Linda Squared. Hello, Christine. Okay, so we're going to use amazing chalk couture. And I'm going to show you what it is, but first I'm going to tell you just a little tiny bit about it because chalk couture is a truly an amazing company. We are chalking the halls, walls, accents, and accessories of homes all across America. We were created to be designed, loved, and repeated for every season and any reason. And we bring easy, 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 high-end DIY home decor directly to you. And we do that by offering reusable adhesive silk screen transfers, chalkology paste, couture ink, surfaces that you can chalk on, and accessories to make chalking super easy, super stress-free, and lots and lots of fun. Oh my gosh, Cheryl, that is perfect! Look at that, McLinda. <laughs> Sorry, Linda. You're stuck with it. Okay, so Linda has now become McLinda. Oh, Lisa GB is here. Hello, Lisa GB. Welcome, welcome. I just wrote, I just mailed you something too, Lisa GB. 
Oh, hello, Tina. Okay, so Tina is from Pennsylvania. Now, we only have two Tinas. The other one is Montina, so sometimes I call her Tina and sometimes I call her Montina. She's my cousin. When we were growing up, her real name is Montina, but we call her we called her Tina when I was a kid, and then she got all, you know, mature, and then she wanted to be called by her first name. So her real name is Montina, so we'll call her by that. McLinda. Okay, all right, McLinda, you're stuck with it. <laughs> you're really stuck with it whether you want it or not. <laughs> Ask poor Linda Squared. <laughs> she doesn't particularly care for her nickname, but it's stuck, so she's <laughs> stuck with it. So Tina is in Pennsylvania. Well, welcome, welcome. All right, so... I told you all about Chalk Couture. If you can please do this, it really helps me a ton when you hit that button. Um, it, it's all about the whole, you know, more people seeing you and stuff. So it really, really helps me. So if you can hit that button, thank you, thank you to everybody who takes the time to do that. I really, really do appreciate it. Um, and we'll get into the rest of it all later. But right now I'm gonna turn my cameras on so that you can see what I'm doing. So this is a portion of boho flowers. We showed you this transfer yesterday. It is a ginormous transfer. It's an E size transfer, which is the biggest size we make. So it's 18 by 24, so it's very large. And it has several different, and of course I don't have one on that cut up here. It has several beautiful floral outlines on it. Lots of fun applications with this particular transfer. Um, so what I wanna do with it tonight is I want to take this transfer, we're going to put it a little bit off the board, we're going to do it, the outline, and then we're going to color in, which is way, way too much fun. And then we're going to add a sentiment from a different transfer, this is a new transfer, and it says, she remembered who she was, and the game changed. And this is kind of very fitting for me right now. So we're gonna use that sentiment over here, but we're gonna put some fun florals in the middle. Thank you, thank you, Nikki. Thank you, Nikki. I very much appreciate it. Oh yeah, McLinda, where are you from? See, McLinda, it's already stuck. <laughs> you poor thing. <laughs> oh goodness. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to use this silk screen transfer because we got new ones, Pe new people here tonight. So first thing you do is you flip it over and I'm going to write on the back of it, spray floral. And I'm going to write number one on the back. And then on the front, I'm going to put a number one. And I do that, this, this transfer has a lot of pieces to it. So it's hard to keep track of which piece goes on which backer sheet. So it's an important step. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to carefully remove my sticky transfer. I gotta keep an eye on the clock because I got a meeting at eight o'clock, or a, an event at eight o'clock. I carefully remove my backer sheet, and I'm gonna set this aside. This is an important piece of paper, <laughs> because you're gonna put your transfer back on it. When you're all done, that's how you're gonna store your transfer. It has a shiny side and a dull side. The shiny side is the sticker paper, that's the part you're gonna put it back on. That's why you write the name on the back, so you know, oh, don't put it on that part, that's the back, this is the front. Okay, so you set that aside. Now my transfer is super sticky, Super, super sticky. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a step called fuzzing, where I take a terry cloth towel and I simply, it picks up the lint from the towel and it softens my adhesive just a little bit so it's not as sticky. And then I'm going to place it. Now I want to put our, I didn't fuzz it enough. See how it sticks and it's hard for me to move it around? The more you fuzz it by putting the lint on the back, the easier it is to move it around. So I'm just gonna give it a little more fuzz. This is a big, big guy. McLinda is from Seymour, Indiana, 60 miles south of Indy. And 60 miles north of Louisville. Ooh, cool. Well, welcome. All right, so I'm gonna place it a little bit off. Oh wait, I, had it, I think I had it going this way. Because I really want the leaves. So I want the fun floral. But I do want I do want some of the leaves. I'm just gonna kind of move it around to get it where I want it so that I get the pieces of the transfer that I want. So as you can see, everything that you see that's white, I'm going to chalk in a black outline. And it's gonna be gorgeous just in black. And I'm going to resist every temptation I have just to leave it that way. Because you all know I love black and white. 
we're going to pull this up and I'm going to be in love with it. And then I'm going to take one for the team and we're going to color it in because it's going to be so pretty. But okay. This is how much I love you. <laughs> so what I do is I put the transfer down and I smooth out the air. And then I open up my chalk paste. And this is what Chalkology paste looks like. This is not paint. This is not kid chalk. It is a chalk paste. It dries hard, so it's not gonna go anywhere unless you want it to. It's not kid chalk. So for example, this is the project we made with boho flowers last night. Okay? Look. Not gonna go anywhere, okay? But I could wash it off and take it off if I wanted to because it's on a chalkboard. Um, but it's not gonna go anywhere unless I want it to. So it's not kid chalk. Kid chalk, I mean, you could literally go and it goes away. So I'm gonna open up my chalk paste. I'm gonna stir it up now. It's a little dry. So I just add a little spray of water because again, it's chalk, so it can dry out. Just add a little bit of water. You want it to be a yogurt, sour cream-like consistency. Okay, and my black is almost gone which is interesting because I don't use black very often. Oh, that's right. Cheryl has a daughter that goes to school in Indy or in Indianapolis, not, not Indiana, in Indiana. She lives in Speedway, but moving to Zionsville at the end of the month. Oh, huh. that's kind of cool. See, McLinda and Cheryl, and Cheryl gave you your nickname, McLinda. There we go. All right, so I stir up my chalk paste. I'm going to grab a squeegee. I'm going to use the small squeegee there's an angled or a beveled side and a flat side the beveled side is the front of my squeegee i take it i dip it in my chalk paste i load it up so i just fill it up with chalk paste i stick it on my transfer and i just fill in my silk screen as i go now this because of the technique we're going to use we might depends on how how good i get it watercoloring we may actually end up doing this step twice. So you're gonna get a little bit of a bonus tonight. We're gonna to show you, I'm gonna show you how I clean my transfer off. Cause we're gonna clean it off and then color it in. Um, in case, sometimes after you color it in, it's kind of nice to put the outline back over at the top of it in case you've gotten any smudges or places where you didn't want it. So literally you just smear your chalk paste and squeegee it up. Hey, Miss Dana. Welcome to our chucking party, Dana. We are using boho flowers again tonight. And tonight we are watercoloring. So see, I just squeegee all that chalk paste off and put it right back in my container because I don't want to waste it. I take my transfer and I'm going to resist every temptation. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm resisting temptation. <gasps> Oh, I love this transfer. Oh, ladies, gentlemen, look at how beautiful that is. See, really, do we have to color it in? Look at how pretty it is. I'm resisting. Oh, my. This is why I love this transfer. Look at how. Oh. <laughs> I love this transfer. I have waited years for this transfer. Oh, goodness. All right, we are going to color it in even though I don't want to. <laughs> We're going to. Because it is, it'll look, it'll look pretty colored in too. This is just my personal style. Hey, Miss Jen, welcome. We are chalking in boho, or we are coloring in boho flowers tonight. Okay, so what I did was I just wash off my squeegee. I do that because it's much easier to wash your squeegees and your tools when your chalk paste is wet. Miss Cheryl, I have them. Schmear and schmudge, those are Maria words. <laughs> oh, all right. Welcome, Kara. <laughs> yes, I promised, LOL, you can do it again in black and white. I know, Kristen, I promised that I would color it in. <laughs> that is so funny. Hello, oh, oh thank you, Miss Tina. I am kind of in love with it myself. Obviously, I don't wanna color it in. But we're going to, because I'm going to show you how. It's really pretty just in black and white. But it will be pretty colored in too. So we've done the coloring technique a couple of different ways. Um, can 
Can I save it for you? Yes, I will save you one, Cheryl. I don't have many of them left, but I do have some of them. I love that I can actually go to the color to the same boho flowers this weekend. So perfect timing. Awesome. So boho flowers is a retired transfer. And once a year they open up the vault where they bring back retired transfers. And they just opened up the vault at the beginning of May and they brought back boho flowers. And it's sold out in like the weekend. They brought it back on a Friday and by the weekend it was sold out. But we were allowed as designers to buy five of them. So I did buy five. So I do have some. We could buy five of them more than once. So I bought seven of them. Um, Cheryl, don't worry about it. I'm not worried about it, Cheryl. I'll just hold it for you. Um, so I do have them if you want them. Um, because let me tell you, it's gorgeous. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to color it in. Now, when we've colored in before, what I, again, this is my style, the black and the white. So some of the different ways you can do, like you could color the whole thing in. But we have done it where we've just colored some accent pieces just for that little pop of color. So it wasn't like the whole thing was colored. It was just that little tiny pop. Um, so I, I don't know if, do you really want me to color the whole thing or you want me to color just part of it? Let's start with one color. We'll color one flower in and we'll see if we feel we should color in the rest or should we leave it alone. Because um, we do also have our words. So we're going to put down here, she remembered who she was and the game changed. That's going to be our sentiment. We could also put that in a color. Um, this, the black and the white always screams certain colors to me. It always screams raspberry sorbet to me. It also always screams ocean mist. Not necessarily together, but they are beautiful together as well. Um, we could do a pale eucalyptus, which is a gray green for our leaves. So my questions for you, since I'm doing this for you, is what colors do you have a preference that you want to see with it? Um, I, we did it with all the colors last night when we made the bigger piece that's on the transfer. You know, we kind of did all kinds of colors. And this is a black board versus the white board. So it will look very different on the white board. So I was thinking maybe we would just do like this really pretty big rose. But I really wanted to do ocean mist. But roses aren't blue. And I always struggle with that. That if you're going to color it in, it should be the color an actual flower can be. So I think we're going to go with raspberry sorbet. Or we could go with a pink. I didn't get, oh, Christine, you didn't get it? And you tried, yeah. When they open up the vault, the so this is only the second time they've ever opened up the vault. The first time they opened up the vault, they sold them in like 10 minutes. I mean, it was crazy. It was absolutely crazy. They crashed the system. It was, it was, they were not prepared. <laughs> That's when we were a much newer company. They were not prepared at all for the mayhem that was going to ensue in opening up the vault with a retire transfer. This time they were much more prepared. Um, they brought back three transfers this time. They brought back um, this boho flowers, the lemonade one, which is really cute. I bought, I just got one of those. And they brought back the anchor. I didn't buy any of the anchor because I'm not in an anchor. Linda, McLinda says the rose and raspberry. All right. And Kara says purple. So maybe we'll do, hey, Claudia. Thanks for coming back and thank you for commenting before because that's how I realized I was in the wrong group and that would have been bad if because I was doing a giveaway. All right, so when you watercolor, what you do is you take Reasons Purple is the color of royalty. Well, Kara, of course we're royalty. Oops, I have a sticker. What am I doing? So you just take a little bit of your chalk paste, put it on a plate. These are our little dishes that we use. And you add a tiny, tiny, tiny amount of water. And lick, you know, you know, make it more runny than it would normally be. 
and then you can paint it on and when you paint it on it won't it won't seem because sometimes you it can be lumpy if you don't water it down because you can totally paint without watering it down um, I just personally find it looks a little more lumpy to me oh and I was gonna sh we're, we're gonna wash our transfer off because sometimes it's nice when we're all done with the coloring in to put the black back over the color just to make sure that it um, you know has that crispness that we're looking for so I am gonna pull our transfer out of my water bath and just set it next to us so that it's ready to go when we are if if we decide we may it, it really all depends on my coloring skills quite honestly <laughs> can Maria color in between the lines <laughs> or not and you know as I'm sure you've already all figured out I'm already a hot mess so I highly doubt I can you know color in between the lines okay so all I did with my transfer next to me is it was in the water bath I just wiped it down and now it's gonna sit next to me actually we'll put it back here to dry so we're gonna give it a minute to dry so and while we color it'll dry dry and then we will Okay, so we're going to take this beautiful rose right here. I'm just take a regular old paintbrush, nothing fancy. I mean, it's a kid watercoloring brush. Fill it up, and you just paint in between the lines. Now, if you enjoy coloring books, you know, like, remember when coloring books were all the fad, adult ones? This is by far... The most enjoyable thing to do <laughs> now you don't have to do this you could totally just chalk it like we did last night and do it in a color but what's nice about doing this is it just gives you that one more way to use your transfer because that you know really quite honestly is the uniqueness about our product is you can use it for so many different things so you can take our adhesive silkscreen transfers and you can use them with chalk you can use them with ink and then when you heat set it you can wash it so you can use it on a t-shirt you can do it on a towel tea towel a kitchen towel you can do it on a canvas bag a pillow any fabric you can also use the transfers with ink on I'm gonna zoom you in so you can see more what I'm doing um, you can also do it With the ink, you can do it on um, ceramics or glass, anything you can put in the oven, stainless steel. So if you wanted to um, make like a coffee mug, a stainless steel coffee mug, or you could do a um, ceramic bowl, ceramic anything really, anything you can put in the oven, you can heat set. And then... When you use the ink, you can put them in the dishwasher. So that's kind of, that. so you can use chalk, you can use ink, then you really want to venture out. You can use glass etching cream. It does not hurt your transfers. So if you love to etch glass, which is one of those very addictive things to do once you start etching glass, um, you can etch glass with it. So you just buy any old etching compound. It will not hurt your transfers then you can use it with foiling compound if you love to foil which is another addiction of mine because foiling is very easy and very fun um, so there's just lots of different mediums so all I'm doing literally is dipping my paintbrush in this chalk that we watered down now if I wanted it to look more watery I could do that by um, Putting more water in my chalk I don't particularly care for that look so I do it a little more thick so again and I'm kind of chalking over some of the black lines so that's where it's kind of nice to put your transfer back over it when you're all done and you can go back as your chalk paste dries if you think there's a, a spot that you know needed a little more color that you kind of got more white through peeking through Hang on, Kara. I see you've made a comment, but I haven't read it yet. Lydia in the Bible sold purple dye and cloth and is stood for royalty. 
So saying you are adding it, you are adding to it screams this to me. Okay, I'll go for that. Lydia in the Bible. Which, which book of the Bible is Lydia in? Kara. I can't say, I'm not, I'm trying to think of what story you're talking about. Where she sold purple dye and cloth and it stood for royalty. That's kind of cool. That's a cool story. We got to know that story. Yeah. Sorry, Kara. Okay, so I'm just coloring it. This is just very therapeutic. I know it gets really boring for you guys, though. So we probably won't color in the whole thing because it amazes me that you watch me every night anyway. I can't imagine watching me just color in lines. But I tell you, if you're looking for a stress reliever, this is it. Again, the transfer is gorgeous without this. You don't need to color it in, but it is also very pretty when you color it. I think what we're going to do is we're going to take some of these little guys and we're going to do a couple pops of wisteria, which is the very pretty lavender color. We'll do a couple pops of wisteria just to give it a little more so that, again, we're not coloring in every flower. You totally could color in every flower. There would be nothing wrong with doing it that way. And that's kind of the beauty of everything, right? Acts of the Apostles, Kara? Okay, I'm going to have to find that story. Thank you for sharing it. I suppose that's the only Acts in the Bible. I'm sorry. That makes me sound stupid. I'm sorry. Then again, most of the things that come out of my mouth do that. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. All right, so how is everybody's day? Oh, since we're just... How much is this transfer? Hey, Michelle, welcome to our chalking party. So, Michelle, that is, again, a lovely question. Our transfers are very easy to figure out their prices because they go by the size. The size of the transfer tells you the price. They're all the same price, and there's only five of them. Five sizes, so there's five prices of transfers. The chalkboard that we're using here today is the Sylvie. So the chalkboard that I'm using is a white chalkboard. And what's nice about this chalkboard is it washes off very nicely. Um, so like this particular chalkboard, I think I've washed this chalkboard off at least 10 times and it looks brand new every time. So our chalkboards are all, depending on the size, they're all in that $20 range. They go, if the bigger ones are more expensive, if you want just a normal chalkboard, the gallery board, the Aiden board, which is kind of the good china, I like to call the good china. That one's $40 in a 9x7 or 9x11 size. Then you get to transfers. And they go A, B, C, D, and E. So you, when you're looking at the catalog, you can tell what letter it is. And that will tell you the price. It also tells you the price in the catalog. Um, but this is an E size transfer. Boho Flowers is E. So it's the biggest one we make. It's 18 inches by 24 inches. And it's $39.99. The A size transfers are um, five by seven. Ooh, that's a lot of chalk guys. Are five by seven? They're nine ninety nine. So that gives you the range, okay? So our smallest transfer is five by seven, and it's nine ninety nine. And it goes all the way up to this big, huge one. Now we're only using one piece of this transfer. This transfer has several pieces to it. So I'm not showing you the whole transfer. So this is not the size of the transfer. The actual transfer is much bigger. Um, so they go from $9.99 on an A to $39.99 on an E. Our most popular sizes are the A's and the B's. The A's are $9.99. The B's are $14.99. So they're very reasonable and they are reusable. So you can use them over and over and over again. And you can use them over and over again with the different mediums. So you can ink with it one day and then the next day you can come back with it and chalk on it. Okay, so you kind of have it all colored in. It's not the best job. And it does look watercolory, you know, it's not perfect. It has that, you know, look of not being even, which is what a watercolor should look like, right? 
And again, as my chalk paste dries, I can go back if I really want to go crazy with it and keep going. So now we have, uh, so we have this color done. Let's do, let's just do a couple little pops of purple. So we're going to use Wisteria. Wisteria is a very pretty lavender color. So we'll color these guys in and then we will um, put our black back over it. It's just again to kind of give it that crispness again. We'll put our sentiment on and we're done. So I'm just washing off my little tray, my little plastic tray, so that I can add the water and I'm not mixing the colors together. And I, sorry, I forgot I zoomed you guys in so you can't see what I'm doing. So I'm just going to take a little bit of wisteria, a very little, we need very little wisteria because we're only going to do, I should not do that on my project. <laughs> just a little spray of water. Stir it up. So again, we're watering it down just to make it paint easier. Could you color in when you ink? Very good question, Jen. Yes, you can. I think it would be amazing to decorate on my daughter's new duvet. Oh, heck yeah. Yes, Jen, you can totally color in with ink as well. It's actually easier with ink, I think. Okay, so again, I'm just watering my wisteria down a little bit. Getting my paintbrush ready. And I think we'll do like maybe this guy and this guy. We'll try that and see if we think we need to do more or if that's enough. Oops. I dried off my brush. Now it doesn't want to load up. Okay, there we go. Now your wisteria is really going to be hard for you to see. Because it's a light, super light color to begin with. And when you watercolor with it, it's even more light. So we might do a couple coats of wisteria. Just because it's hard to see it. It is pretty though. I love wisteria. I know, we, <laughs> we use it at, like almost every night, right? Of course I love wisteria. It was interesting to me because for me, when they came out with Wisteria in this last catalog release, we've not had a lavender. There was previously a lavender color, but not since I, oops, don't stick your finger in your chalk paste. Um, not since I joined the company have they had a lavender. So I was really excited about this color. Awesome. I got a Cricut heat press for Mother's Day. Ooh, love that. That makes inking so much easier. You can just heat press away. Okay. So I've got our wisteria down. I did do it a little thick. Because again, it's, it's hard to see it because it's such a light color. I'm going to dry it and put another coat on. Now I just use, I have a heat dryer for crafting. But you really don't need the heat, you just need the air. And it dries very quickly. It takes, this takes a slightly longer because we've watered it down, plus it's more thick than it normally would be when you're, when you're squeegeeing. I'm just drying it off. I'm also going to need it to be dry to put the black, put the outline back on. Because if I put my sticky transfer down on top of wet chalk, when I go to pull my transfer off, it will take the chalk with it. So I really need to make sure that these guys are dry. Okay. So I'm just taking a little bit longer than I normally would to dry it. Because we're going to stick that um, transfer back down. A heat press is not a tool that you necessarily have to have if you're going to ink. See, so see. Now that I'm putting the second coat on, see these two got the second coat and the rest of them don't. See how much easier now it is to see? Because again, it's a chalkboard, right? So it's kind of that slick surface. So now the chalk has something to grab onto because there's chalk there. 
So that's why you can see it a little bit better when you do two coats. Okay, this is gonna be pretty. Well, we're using all my favorite colors, right? So it should be pretty. <laughs> okay, so again, I'm just giving these guys a second little coat of chalk. I don't, you don't want it to be too perfect because you don't want it to lose that watercolor look, right? It's not supposed to be perfect. It's supposed to look watercolory. The nice thing about putting the transfer back down over it is you don't have to worry too much about being perfect with it as long as you stay inside the line. If you go outside of the line, then you gotta wash it off. But as long as you stay inside the line, you're okay. So I think we're just gonna do those two. And I don't think we're gonna do any green. I don't think it needs the green. Okay, so I'm gonna zoom you out so you can see more of it. I think just those two. Then we have three pops of color and then we're gonna have our sentiment right here. I think that's all we need. I'm gonna dry these guys with their second coat and work on my raspberry sorbet a little more because that's, I did that one kind of thick too. So again, just takes another minute for it to dry. Stuck over here. There we go. So I'm just drying them. The other thing that happens is as it dries, it's easier to see the colors. But it's pretty thick on here. But we don't, I mean, it would be terrible, right, if we put it back down and all that chalk came off. <laughs> we would be washing it off and doing it again then. Okay, so now... We're going to put our sentiment on while we give it just again another minute to dry while we're doing that. Set our stuff aside. Where did I put our sentiment? Okay, I just had it. Here it is. So she remembered who she was and the game changed. Don't we all need this reminder occasionally in our life? Right? We need to remember who we are, what we're capable of, all of the amazing things that we can do and how much we are loved, right? So this transfer is part of the, there's a name for it, it's a chalk story, the Unsinkable Collection, which is named after the Unsinkable Molly Brown, I'm assuming, from the Titanic. It has some really fun, kind of vintage-y, uh, Victorian, um, it had, that's the transfer that our floral, or the collection our floral pattern is from. Um, it has the really cute suitcase. It just has some really nice pieces to it. And this is one of the pieces in that collection. So when you're looking at the cat, the catalog, in the beginning of the catalog, there's a couple of, they're, they're called chalk stories. And the transfers are meant to go together. They have pieces um, that coordinate, their fonts coordinate, the theme coordinates. And it just, just kind of all goes together. Even just the key. It, I just love the key. Think of all the fun things we could do with the key. All right, so we're going to stick this guy on here. I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to write on the back of it as soon as I find my Sharpie. Where's my Sharpie? Okay, we're not going to write on the back of it. You would write the name of the transfer on the back. You're going to pull your transfer off its backer sheet. You're going to set your backer sheet. Oh, there it is. Of course, as soon as I do it. And then you're going to put your transfer down. Okay. You're going to smoosh out your air. Again, a Maria term. Now, this part of this transfer has a ton of air. So there's a couple tricks. Now, I don't want it to stick to my flowers because, again, I don't want it to pull up my chalk paste. So I can put my uh, backer sheet down. But I have to get all my air out first before I go, you know, sticking anything down. So 
just make sure you know that you have your your silk screen sealed around it. Don't be worried if you have creases in it because the important part is is the silk screen and all these letters. Okay? So we're good and pushed down. We don't have any air and everybody is sealed to the chalkboard. So what color should we make our sentiment? Should we make our sentiment black? We could do wisteria because it's the least of the color. I think we're going to go with black. Okay, so I'm going to stir up my chalk paste. I'll create a big old blob right on my transfer. Take my squeegee beveled side and just smooth it right across my silk screen. Just smear it right across. Then take all of that excess chalk paste you have on your squeegee, put it right back in your container. Take all that and put it back in. Haven't we all gone through those stages in life where you just needed to remember who you were? Cheryl likes black. Good, Cheryl, because I did it in black. <laughs> Oops, and I had a bleed. Okay. This is pretty. I'm going to wash this. So I have right here, I have a bleed. So that's what a bleed looks like when you get one. What that means was I had air from when I picked up the paper. I didn't push that side back down good enough. So it is fixable. What I will do is I will wash it off, lay the transfer back down, and redo it. That's the beauty of this craft. There's no stress involved in this. Because um, I can fix it because it's on a chalkboard. I can just wash it off and do it again, which is what I will do. Um, I'm not going to do it live tonight because I do have that uh, event at 8. Normally, I would just, you could stick around with me and I would wash it and show you. But I will fix it. And then I will, when I post my picture in the morning, it'll be corrected. So when you look at the picture, you're like, that's not what it looked like. That's why. I'm going to fix it. I am drying it just so I don't smear it more. I suppose it doesn't really matter. I'm washing it off, right? Okay, so I, again, I really want to make sure that these guys are dry before I stick my transfer back down. Because we're going to stick our transfer right back over it. Now I need to make sure my transfer is not wet anywhere. It is not. Now, everybody's always so worried about, oh my gosh, it's going to be so hard to line back up. Nope, it's not. It's very easy. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm talking to you like you can see me and you can't. It's a bad habit I have. But now we're really sticky again, so I do need to refuzz it. And I'm just going to stick it, I have my sweatpants on. I'm just going to stick it right to my sweatpants. Because I'm noticing... My, I've, my fuzzing towel has once again run out of lint because we fuzz so much with it. Okay, so I just stuck it to my sweatpants to pick up the lint on my sweatpants, which makes it easier for me to be able to move it around. And now I can get it back in the right Getting it close. Okay. Now I'm not going to redo all of the black. I'm only going to, oops, and then I moved it. We need more fuzz. I'm going to re only redo the actual flowers that we watercolored. So I'm really only super worried about making sure that my black is lined up for those parts. So I'm just lining it up. Keep sticking. <laughs> it wants to stick every time I try to do it. So let's just start maybe with the flower in the middle. Okay. So we're pretty well. That guy is pretty well lined up. It's 
almost not quite lined up so you just gotta take your time and get it now I don't necessarily have to see I mean it looks fine the way it is but I wanted to try this because we've never done it this way and I've seen some people do it this way and it totally gives you back your clean crisp -ness. but because we had this oop, don't do that don't let it don't do this you don't want it to stick to itself um, because we have it had put it in here at an angle it's not as easy to line back up and if it would stop sticking to my side it would be better oh we're so close now what happens is every time I do this, when I think I'm so close, then I pick it up and it sticks to my fingers. <laughs> and I end up starting all over again, just like that. Oh, we're like perfect. Almost. Ah. Okay. We are like perfect. Okay. So all I'm going to do is just redo these little sections. I actually think we're pretty good maybe to do all of them. We're, eh, we're kind of off at the top. Okay, so now I'm just going to go right back over it. And it's not going to go back over, obviously, the parts that we watercolored, but I do want to get the detailing back in the middle of the flower. And this will put those lines back. So you can just go right back over it. I'm curious to see how this is going to turn out. And hopefully it's not going to pull all the junk paste off underneath the bottom. Oops. Oh, and i got to do these guys. forgot about these guys. I just don't like that way that line's lined up. We're going to lift it up and reline that guy up. So I'm going to carefully pull it off. And see now you back. See, look how clean and crisp it is again. Okay, so there is def I definitely like it better when you put it back down. So I'm going to stick this here. I need to dry it. It's just one of those little detail pieces that kind of gives you back. I mean, it's still watercolored, but it gives you the outline back when you put it back down. So I'm just drying it so I don't smear it. Okay, and now we're going to put our fun little flowers down. The little guys. Which hopefully should be easier to line up. So maybe if I got it at the right angle, it would be easier to line up. She was perfect. Sorry, I, I know it's dead air. I hate dead air. But I'm trying to concentrate at the same time. So this is a, a much more... Uh, challenging project than the ones we normally do live <laughs> but I wanted to give you guys kind of some of those you know thoughts and details of all the different things that you can do gotta go going back to work tomorrow morning Ooh, 3 30 a.m. oh Linda Mc McLinda that's early okay so we're gonna try this well have a good night thank you for joining us your little mini kit is coming in the mail so you uh, will see it soon and then you can practice and tell us all about how much you love chalk too so thank you, thank you, Lin Mick Linda. So again, I'm just drying that guy. Yeah, you could have, I could have done all of them at once, but I was trying to not be so challenged. I'm challenged enough in a day. Okay, so let's get this guy back on here. I'm trying to think which flower is it. It is that one, right? It's this guy. There's too many little flowers on here to figure out which guy it is. There we go. Good night, McLinda. Be safe at work. 
I'm actually going to use a littler squeegee because I just really want the in the middle. I don't need the whole outside of this guy. So you're just going to try that a little bit. There we go. Perfect. All right, so I take this, stick it in my water bath. So I wash it off again. Um, and then I will wash this whole part off and redo it. So that's how you watercolor. It works very well with any transfer that is an outline. So we started, right, with our plain black, which was stunningly gorgeous. And now we've kind of added a little bit of the pops of color and the detail. Um, we use the boho transfer, the boho flowers transfer. This is one piece of, it has many pe different floral pieces on it. And then we use part of the Chalk Stories Unsinkable, and this is called Mighty. She remembered who she was and the game changed, which is an amazing sentiment to me. I think we're going to use that sentiment on a lot of things because, you know, she power, right? <laughs> Oh my gosh, I have black chalk paste all over me. All right, so I'm making Maria. I'm a Chalk Couture independent designer. Thank you so much for watching me. If you have not hit the button, please help me. It helps me so much when you do that. So thank you, thank you to everybody who takes the time to do that. If you are not in the Making Maria VIP group, that is where you want to be because that's where all the fun stuff happens, like the balloon pop that we just did for Miss Renee who got her balloon pop for joining Club Couture. Um, we do specials and bundles and play fun games and do all that kind of stuff in the VIP group. So if you're not in the VIP group, you can come and add me and I will send you the link or you can simply go to your Facebook search bar, type in Making Maria's VIP group and request to join. That's another way to get in there. Um, if you want to see any of these amazing products, what we used is Mighty, which is this transfer here. Boho flowers you'd have to message me directly for because it is retired and out of stock. This is the Sylvie chalkboard. We used black velvet chalk paste, wisteria, and raspberry sorbet. Those are the colors that we used. So if you wanted to see any of these products, you could go right to www.chuckcouture.com slash making Maria, and you can see them. If you are curious at all about figuring out if what being a Chuck Couture designer means, I'd be more than happy to just get you the information, and you can figure out if it's something that works for you or not. What's nice about it is you can do so many different things with it. You can simply make beautiful things and sell them. You can just make beautiful things and enjoy the discount. You can teach workshops. You can go live on Facebook. You can do in-home parties. You can um, have a craft club with your friends. There's just so many different ways to use being a designer to either pay for your hobby, enjoy your hobby, or make a little extra money. So if you're curious at all, feel free to message me and I'd be happy to send you the information. Um, oh, and we did talk a little bit about Club Couture. Club Couture is our monthly subscription service where you get a transfer in the mail for $19.99 a month. And it's just kind of nice because you don't have to think about it. It just happens. You get this beautiful transfer and three paste packets. You get to take advantage of um, the discounted sales that they do pretty often for just club members. Um, shipping is less expensive when you order from the website. You save two bucks every time you ship for uh, standard shipping. So being a club member is worth it. That's it. That's all I got for you. Thank you so much for watching me. I'll be back at you tomorrow night at 9 o'clock Central Standard Time. I hope you have an amazing Friday. If you need anything, message me. Otherwise, thank you so much for hanging out with me. I'm sorry this was a long one. And I will be back at you tomorrow. Thanks, guys.